the greatest place of warfare is not against the witches in your family the greatest place of warfare is against you the enemy fights you as a person you are the person that the enemy battles against the most are you hearing me yeah and the second place of warfare i said is your family tell you anybody say your family the enemy battles against your father your mother your husband your wife and your spouse anything that is got to do with your emotional stability that is the second area that the devil fight most the enemy once the enemy is able to disrupt and disturb your love life your emotional stability he's able to destabilize every other thing in your life the bible says that um, 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 guard your heart for out of it comes the issues of life the heart there talks about uh, not the spirit as the bible as, as as many a time when you read the heart in scripture it means the spirit this one talks about your emotions somebody say my emotions many of you when you're emotionally you are not stable every other thing else doesn't work are you hearing me when you get a heartbreak or you get disappointed in regarding anything regarding your emotions what happens is that every other thing else fails to work some of you literally underperform and some even shut down when their emotional state is not in place and the enemy has seen that so he attacks you from that angle so hard in order to destabilize you and to fight you the enemy has a way ladies and gentlemen of destabilizing your family life attacking your son making sure that your son is not seen in the head the man is a boy he comes home and says i want to become a girl so as a mother you feel frustrated you see your son now painting his nails and do putting lipstick and doing uh, standing things that is not supposed to be so emotionally the enemy distracts you in such a way that it destabilizes your entire being as a child of God the enemy attacks your daughter makes away your daughter you took your daughter to school high school the child gets pregnant and you begin to wonder what at all is going on why because the enemy knows how to hit you as a child of God he does not come the usual way he would come he will come through other avenues in order to get to you the enemy can destabilize your mother your father your husband some of you you've gone through one marriage after another marriage after another marriage and sometimes you begin to ask yourself what is going on with me as for you it's like nothing seems to work now you need to understand the Bible says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood you cannot tell me as a woman of 28 years you have had 30 relationships and none of them was successful and you tell me as a sane intelligent man that it is normal that is not normal something got to be wrong somewhere it, it can not be that out of all the 30 men you dated not even one was successful and sometimes we sit down and, and and relax and assume that everything is okay and nothing is wrong and you feel like oh I, I don't need to pray on um, this thing it is natural ladies and gentlemen you need to understand that these things are not natural they are powers they are forces the other day apostle Paul said in, in the book of uh, Ephesians 6 12 when you read from the amplified version of the Bible he says for our struggle is not against flesh and blood he, he says our struggle there is a battle and a struggle that we are going through there is a struggle in your finances it is not natural there's a struggle concerning your career life it is not natural some of you every good job you get you have to be fired and you begin to wonder what at all do you do you are you you are hard working you work hard you do everything that you are supposed to do but some way somehow certain things doesn't add up and you end up getting fired tonight we are here to wage war any power behind the scenes that frustrates your life frustrates your family life frustrates your children frustrates your father your mother frustrates your partner today we decree and declare let that power catch fire I said let that power catch fire shout fire in the name of Jesus you see you need to understand ladies and gentlemen battles didn't begin now it began in heaven give me Revelation chapter 12 and and let's 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 quickly work it and then we can pray 
Revelation chapter 12. Now, now the Bible says, Now a great sign shall we all read one go? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, the woman there, ladies and gentlemen, now the Bible says a great sign appeared in heaven. This was the book of Revelations was written by John the Revelator. Everything in Revelations was not just life. It was not something he saw physically. It was a revelation. That is why we call it revelation. Somebody say revelation. He was not seeing this physically. He was seeing these in the spirit. Somebody say in the spirit. So he had a vision of this. And everything you see in the spirit has a physical in, 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 in interpretation. So when you see gold in the spirit, it means wealth. When you see a woman in the spirit, it signifies potential, productivity. Somebody that is about to do something great. A woman carries seed. So John the Revelator had a vision. And he saw a woman that is clothed with the sun. And the moon under her feet. A woman clothed with the sun. The sun signifies greatness. Now, John the Revelator was given a revelation about someone that carries potential. Someone that carries greatness. Someone that had 12 stars around her. In other words, 12 signifies government. This is a woman that carried governmental authority. A woman that carried potential. A woman that carried greatness. This woman was about to deliver. Now, let's continue reading. Now, let's go. Now, the woman was being with what a child and she cried out in about to what give birth now that signifies to you every one of you this woman here and you may be a man it still pertains to you uh, in this signifies someone that carries great potential someone that carries great destiny someone that has something that treasures in their spirit that treasure is about to come forth and tonight i hear someone here you are about to deliver you shall not deliver ordinary things you shall deliver a great miracle you shall deliver a great ministry you somebody is pregnant with your marriage you have not seen a man yet but you are pregnant with the marriage and i prophesy and declare as we wage war and battle in the spirit there shall be a release 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 in the name of jesus the woman was pregnant and ready to, is there somebody that want to release a testimony yes, sir. releasing birth signifies releasing a testimony there is something that is in your spirit that is about to break forth there is something that is in your spirit that is about to come alive hear me tonight you didn't come here for showcase you came to declare whatever that is in the spirit concerning my life let it come forth I manifest I give birth to my testimony to my greatness to my star if you are here shout I receive it. I receive it there is somebody that shall manifest something great tonight there is someone that shall manifest something great tonight there is someone that shall manifest something great tonight if you are here shout I receive it, I receive it see in the place of prayer you give birth when you read the book of isaiah isaiah the other day says says i mean um, says when a woman went to tra travel he says have you heard a thing have you seen such things shall the earth made to be brought forth in a day shall a nation be born at once but as soon as zion traveled zion brought forth now he, Isaiah was connecting um, the traveling or the giving birth of a woman to the manifestation of your blessing. He says, let's read Isaiah 66, 8. Read one, go. Now, let me explain this scripture to you. Who has heard such a thing? Uh -huh. Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to give birth in can the whole earth appear in one day? Is it possible? Is it possible? No. Or shall a nation be born? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she did what? In other words, 
Zion signifies the nation of Israel but he says when Zion went into labor when Zion went into travail Zion released can I tell you the word labor here does not physically mean physical labor it means traveling prayers when Zion went to the place of prayer Zion released something that was impossible Zion released her children through prayer tonight somebody shall release your testimony through prayer tonight somebody shall deliver their son through prayer tonight somebody shall deliver their jobs through prayer tonight someone shall deliver their marriage through prayer somebody shall through prayer the other thing the other day apostle paul said do not be anxious about anything but everything by prayer somebody say everything by prayer everything. see when you read the king james it says but everything by prayer what it means that your marriage by prayer your business by prayer your career by prayer your children by prayer he says everything by prayer everything encompasses everything so when you take everything your marriage is in everything your children are in everything your career is in everything your job is in everything i make a prayer over your life As now put the scripture on the screen it says be anxious for nothing tell your neighbor be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer that means in in your marriage by prayer in your business by prayer in your finances by prayer i make a prayer over your life as we wage war tonight Lake Atomalia Azota, everything as we pray there shall be a release a release a release a release a release a release in the name of jesus somebody say i bear my testimony by prayer I birth my marriage by prayer. I birth my career by prayer. If you are here, shall I receive it? I receive it. Now let's go back to the revelation, the scripture, the main scripture for today. And then we can push it quickly. Now the Bible says, and being with a child, she cried out in labor. And was about to give birth. Tell your neighbor, I'm about to give birth. No, not physical birth. You are going to give birth to a testimony. Are you hearing me? We are going to give birth to what? To a testimony. Uh-huh. And another sign appeared in heaven and behold a great fairy red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his head uh-huh he still drew now go to the uh, um, um, he still drew the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth and the dragon stood down shall we read the part the read and the dragon one go and the dragon stood who was ready to do what who is the dragon satan the devil who is the dragon so there is a great woman ready to deliver a testimony but there is who a dragon standing by the woman to do what to devour her child to devour that great testimony to devour that miracle let me tell you ladies and gentlemen the earliest you understand it the better in this life life is by warfare tell your neighbor by warfare if you don't learn how to battle spiritually you will be taken as a prey if you don't learn how to wage war spiritually you shall be taken as a prey people are traveling to wish doctors to places for voodoo and for power you you are sitting with people in offices that wear that sitting the uh, dress in suit you think they are okay no at night they are consulting and making incantations and chanting their way to the top but you you are here yeah, and you don't and time for you to pray you are not praying but remember as you are there waiting to deliver there is a dragon waiting to devour you i make a prayer over your life any dragon that is waiting to devour anything that god has in store for you we decree and declare let it backfire 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 Fire. let it back fire in the name of Jesus any dragon that want to devour your miracle any power that want to devour your testimony today as we lift up our voice let it catch fire let them catch fire let them catch fire let them catch fire shout in the name of Jesus today 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 now today someone say today, today. 
right after around the afternoon as i in, as i was leaving the office in the afternoon um yesterday okay yeah yesterday as i was leaving on friday as i was leaving the office to go to to to, to the house to rest and prepare for the evening now someone calls me he said papa where are you i said i'm i'm, I'm going he says oh, i'm coming to the office i said i've just left say papa no you need to see me i said what is the problem she's crying he said you re you remember this my friend i said yes i said what is it say my friend says what is it say i told my friend you know you remember that man i said yes he, he, the one that we were planning for the wedding he said yes the one that went to see i said what is it you know she started the story and i was getting impatient the one that took me the, did the introduction i said yes what is it he said papa can you imagine the same man that I brought to you the same man that went to do introduction the best friend the best friend the one I came to see you with that one I said what is it he said Papa my best friend is getting married to my man I said my daughter what are you saying that best friend the one, you see that best friend eh, when you see her you will never ask. she wear long skirts she 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 see she does not even do makeup no holy of the holiest i said no i said no my daughter you are lying it's great that one when that one is praying you see she pushes and do the way when she's in prayer my friend you might think she's the prophetess I'm like no i was confused for a minute i'm like no you, are you sure that one he said papa that friend i said ah but how did it happen he says you know uh, we go to see my friend together we, he says he's praying he's, she was praying for us and she prayed me out anybody that want to take what belongs to you hey we decree and declare let them catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire can you imagine best friend oh. best friend and this best friend speak in tongues she prays in the holy ghost say any dragon that want to take my my blessing that want to devour my blessing catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire sit down sit down sit down sit down for a minute says papa do something hear me hear me well there is a dragon that is always waiting to devour your blessing shout any dragon a sign to devour my blessing cast fire cast fire cast fire cast fire in the name of jesus when you are almost about to enter into your place of settlement the dragon appears but by the power of the holy ghost we decree and declare let the dragon catch fire let the dragon catch fire let the dragon catch fire in the name of jesus skip to verse 7 skip to verse 7 now the bible says and now war broke out in heaven somebody say war broke out in heaven, war broke out in heaven. if war can happen in heaven war can happen anywhere even in heaven and the bible say michael and his angels fought with the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought but they did not prevail nor was a place found for them in heaven any no you see the bible says war broke out where so what what is this thing that you you even god he had an attack hello even who no 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 i what are we is this the book is it quran we are reading here this is bible biblia
Don't let me speak to you here. Here, here listen to me. This war broke out where? Where God dwells. Where God dwells, war broke out. And Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. The dragon decided to attack. So in every institution, in every organization, in every family, war can break out. So when you are attacked, don't feel like you are alone. Even God at some point was attacked. Jehovah God himself, the man that sits on the circles of the earth, the one that owns the universe, the monarch of the universe, the one that controls everything, he was at one point attacked. And the devil and his angels fought. And Michael and his angels fought. So when the war broke out in heaven, Michael said to Papa God, Papa God, sit down. Let me deal with this momo. In every church, we need some Michaels. Halala yes. Makatosha. When the enemy tries to wage war yes. against the man of God, yes. the Michael will say, Papa, sit down. Let me deal with this one. Are there some Michaels in the house? Are there some Michaels in the house? We rise up and we declare in a satanic arrow, demonic projection released against this house. We declare cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, fire, fire in the name of Jesus. So war broke out in heaven. Sit down. Let me quickly get to where I'm going. Uh -huh. And they did not prevail, nor was there a place found for them any longer in uh huh. So the dragon was cast out. The serpent of old called the devil and Satan. Now you see, the devil in Genesis was called a serpent. But in Revelation, the devil had graduated from a serpent and was called a dragon. What am I trying to say? The serpent you don't deal with grows up to become a dragon some of you they are certain things in your lives they are like serpents you have not dealt with them they are graduating and graduating they are graduating when you get to the very top the serp the devil no longer comes as a serpent a serpent is an innocent reptile but a dragon is a dragon that is a reptile that can kill not just one but thousands of people any dragon that is growing around you we cut off the head 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 in the name of Jesus take this to the bank this is what I'm telling you take it seriously when you see a serpent around you my friend deal with it did you hear what I said when you see someone as a serpent around you deal with it because if you don't deal with it now later the person will grow to become a dragon and deal with you did you hear what i said if you don't deal with the serpent that is growing some of you you are some somebody around you the person betrays you so much and then now the next day you are walking around jumping with the person hey! that is a serpent somebody say serpent somebody says serpent somebody says serpent they are becoming a dragon and today we make a prayer in the name of Jesus every serpentine spirit hovering around your destiny catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire when God sent Saul to kill the Amalekites Saul spared some of the Amalekites God told Saul kill everybody imagine instruction from heaven God said so I know your future but you don't know what is ahead but as a prophet I can see kill all the Amalekites so spared some can I tell you after some years so went to, into battle with the same Amalekites that he spared guess what he died in that battle there are certain people you don't negotiate with you don't sit down for a discussion you destroy and cast them out completely today we lift a prayer in the name of Jesus and the serpent around you we decree and declare let them catch fire 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 in the name of Jesus sit down for a minute 
The Bible said the dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, who deceives her, the whole world, was cast to her. Now, this is where our problem began. This revelation talks about it was a um, 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 a revelation that John gave about the past, what happened even before creation. So that how the devil appeared here, the guy waged war in heaven, and then now he was cast down here on the earth, and he did not come alone. He came and now shall we read? Well, let's read one go. Let's read from the top. Shout it from the top of your voice. One go. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. and his angels were what so the devil came down here with one third of the angels in heaven so the reason why when you read the book of Genesis the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth full stop next verse verse 2 and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep the, according to Bible scholars put one and two together for me according to Bible scholars that the gap between Genesis 1 verse 1 and Genesis 1 verse 2 could literally be a thousand years it could be a two thousand years it could be 100 years so when God created the heavens and the earth everything was good so between Genesis chapter 1 verse one in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 that was when the war broke out in heaven and the devil was now cast down here on the earth because when Adam was created Adam came to meet the serpent hello you remember when, did, when you read the account of Genesis your account of creation you don't see the serpent being created anywhere the serpent was already down here are you getting me so the Bible says in the beginning put, put it put it in King James please so that um, New King James so that we can read it quickly and then we'll come back to amplify it. One, two. Uh -huh. Shall we read one go? No, no. One and two. Genesis one to two. Shall we read one go? Uh huh. Earth was. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now, darkness came upon the face of the deep. Why? Because the devil was cast down here. Are you following me? Are you following the discussion? good now so just note now the devil has come down here with us now when the devil was cast down here now when you read genesis 1 to 2 according to what we know the earth the entire earth surface is made up of 71 percent of water someone say 71 percent so the entire earth surface is only 20 29 percent land 71% of the entire earth surface is what? Okay, if you didn't study, if you don't know it, maybe I'm telling you, go study geography. It is in there. Your geography books. You can Google it when you get home. The entire earth is 71% water and 29% what? Land. Earth. Land. So, that means that the greater part of the entire earth surface is what? Is what? Is what? Water. Now, good. So now, when the devil was cast down here, he came with his what? His angels, isn't it? So if the enemy now, give me the map. Give me the map. Give me. Let's let's look at something here. Now, can you see this? This world map. This is the entire world map. Now, the parts that was blue when you went to school, they said it was what? Blue signifies what? Good. So now, this is Africa, Asia, America, Australia, every part. So all the parts you see that is blue is water. The only part you see that is uh, land is the one in green and yellow. You got you get me. So the greater percentage of the entire this entire earth surface, the whole world map is here. The greater percentage of the entire earth surface is what is water. You get me. So if the devil is cast down here on this land on this earth surface with his angels, where would the greater part of the devil and his angels go? Chances are even that the dude landed in water. Are you getting my point? So, God, Michael beat him up and cast him and his angels here on the earth. And so the greater part of the demons, of the forces, of the enemy dwell where? Simple mathematics. You don't need to be too smart to know this. Now let's go. Now let's follow something. So now you come to creation. Let's follow this. In Genesis 1, 2. Now let's now go to good. 
Good boy. Now let's read one go. Mm -hmm. Shall we read one go? No, take me back to Amplified. Let's read. Uh huh. Shall we read in the beginning? Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible says darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now, give me, can you put the, um, we, we're going to be rotating with the screen, the map, yeah? So, follow me. And now, verse 2, read one, go. The earth was formless and void. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now, the word deep there is God is trying, the, the scripture is trying to make us understand what the word deep there means. The darkness was upon the face of the primeval ocean, shall we read, that covered the unformed earth. So, the entire earth was what? Was an ocean. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. The deep is being explained as a primeval ocean that covered an ocean covered the informed earth. And the spirit of God was moving and hovering over the face of the it's written, it's written there. Can't you see? It's, shall we read? The spirit of God was moving upon the face of the the Bible doesn't say earth. Why? Because earth was not there. The earth was not physically there. Everything that was created at that point was water. So the devil, everything on his angels, all of them landed where? In the water. Are you getting me? Now we go to verse 2. Verse 3. Now let's go quickly, 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 guys. Uh huh. Verse 3. No. Uh huh. And God said. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay, skip to verse 6. Verse 5. Let's read verse 5. Uh huh. Uh huh. Verse 6. Uh huh. Verse 6. Anybody that has insight today, you will catch a revelation you have never caught before. Now, God now says, Let there be an expanse of sky. This thing we call sky now. To come in the midst of the waters why because everything that was there was what and let it separate the waters above the sky from the waters below the expanse so a sky came this sky now came to separate waters up there from the waters down here are you following verse 7 uh -huh. let's go verse 7 and God made the expanse of sky to separate the shall we all read read it from the top of your voice one go So the expanse of sky separated the waters above from the waters below. Uh huh. God called the expanse of sky heaven. This thing you call heaven, sky. Uh huh. It came to separate waters above from waters below. Uh huh. And the evening. Okay, verse nine. Shall we all read one go? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In other words, God now comes and says, let the waters under the sky, this heaven now, all of them be gathered together and let what appear? Let what appear? So dry land came from where? Good. Are you learning something now? So God now calls dry land to appear out of water. Hear me. If you don't study your Bible, eh, there are some things you may never see in life. And people will get ahead of you all the time. Why? Because you have not caught a revelation. Anybody that is ahead of you knows something you don't know. Now, dry land came out of water. Now, we have understood something here. So, the reason why dry land appeared was because everything was embedded in what? Was, was embedded in what? Water. Now, we come back to scripture and becomes goes forward to tw verse 28 when man was created 
understand everything was water dry land came up here came out verse 26 shall we read let's start from verse 26 verse 26 shall we read one go now put 26 don't don't put 26 follow what i'm saying and let's do it 26 uh-huh Re let's read one go mm -hmm. uh-huh And let them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now the Bible says, God now comes and say to the Son and the Spirit, "Let us make man in our image, act to have dominion and authority over what? Over what? Fair. No, the thing is written there." You didn't do comprehension in school? The first thing God said we should have dominion over was what? And then where? And then where? Now the question I'm asking here you this. Where does man live? Does man live in the ocean? But why is it that when man was created, the first thing God said, the first place God said man should have dominion was the fish of the sea, not the land. But we were supposed to dwell on the land. Hello? Are you following me? I'm saying it is only the deep that shall catch tonight. Now, why is it that we are supposed to be living on the land? This is Africa. But God says first have dominion over the fish of the sea. How many, do you have a fish pond? Do you control tilapia and mudfish? Nobody, you don't, you, you, are, you don't even have a fish pond so God was not talking about controlling fishes in the sea he was talking about you having dominion and power over the powers that originate from the water world because you don't control fishes he says power over the bears of the earth you have bears in your house he's talking about the powers that dwell in the atmosphere so before man you can dominate on the land where God said you should live. God said first have dominion over what? The powers that originate from the sea and then the powers that are in the atmosphere. Yes. Then you can survive on the land. Yeah. Otherwise you cannot break through in this land. Yes. Others with revelation will be going ahead of you yes. and you don't know what is happening. Why? Because they have understood why they were born. The first thing God said we should do was to have dominion where? Over the powers that are in the sea. Then you dominate over the powers in the air. Then you can rule over the land. Because you are supposed to be ruling over the land. But some of you, you have been subjugated. And you have been under pressure. Why? You are not ruling like you are supposed to rule. Today, we lift up a prayer. Any authority from the waters. In the atmosphere. That is dominating your destiny. We declare, cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Are you understanding? I told you it is only the deep that shall catch tonight. And if you catch the revelation, your life will never be the same again. But if you allow your village people to cause you to sleep, you are on your own. Are you getting me? Yes. Now sit down. Let's 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 conclude on this. So why is it that God is creating man? And the first place God says man should have dominion is over the waters, not the land, even where the, we are supposed to be living on the land but God says have dominion over the waters why? because you cannot have dominion over the land if you don't control the powers that originate from the waters if you don't control the powers that are in the air you cannot have dominion are you getting me? now this is verse 26 now let's go to 27 and then I will show you something and then we can be praying soon so God created man in his own image shall we read one go So God has created who? Man. Now let's go to 28. It will shock you. Uh-huh. 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 No, no, no. Hold it there. Hold it there. Now that still beats my understanding. 
anytime a scripture is repeated twice a sentence is repeated in the holy bible two times it is not just for emphasis it is for more than emphasis god is trying to bring your attention to the fact that this is exactly what i mean what i want and what i have you to do now god says in before man was created god says i'm creating man to first have dominion over the sea the air and the land now after man is created god now says be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and subjugate it putting them under your and rule and dominate where come on rule and dominate where so the first place of rulership god says the fish of the sea that is the powers that are in the sea and then they live in and he says the bears of the air the powers that are in the atmosphere and then you come and dominate over everything that rules on the land ladies and gentlemen if you don't learn spiritual warfare to engage forces that are in the oceans and deal with them and deal with the powers in the atmosphere you can never dominate on any land last year when i was teaching on marrying spirits it's still been here the wedding man the, and the wife oh good steven you remember you said you got delivered when i was teaching on marine spirits yeah good thank you seven and the wife is here thank you after preaching a similar subject seven came to give a testimony here that he's got delivered and then right after he got married now i want to show you something it was a similar subject that i was teaching and he got delivered and i'm going to show you something about this particular sermon why you need dominion over the waters you don't live on water but God insisted you should have dominion over the powers in the water. Why? Because let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, everything in the world came from water. You have seen it in your scripture. If you read it, you find everything God created was water. Even dry land came out of what? Water. Now, it is from the water world, and we see we saw that from the when we started preach, I started preaching that the devil was in heaven, he was cast down. And I, I told you, because the greater part of the earth surface is water, the greater part of the demons, the, the, the angels of God landed where landed where in water. It's a simple mathematics. If all the demons, the, the a one third of the devil's angels was cast down here, and the greater part of the earth surface is water, that means that you, you I mean you can say the greater part of the demons landed first in water. In fact, there was no land when they landed here, everything was water. So they all landed in water. Are you following me? So now listen to this. If these forces that are operating on the land first even came from water. You need dominion over the powers in the waters. Is somebody catching it? Because there was no land when the devil and his angels got here. Everything was water. They operated from water. So for you to dominate on the land, you must have first have dominion over the forces in the water. Are you following me? Are you catching it? Now let's let's let, let, let's hear this. Let's hear this. Let's hear this we have come to understand when you continue reading scripture in the book of ezekiel the bible talks about the powers in the world how many of you understand um up to now the ancient egyptians the pyramids they built people cannot even find out how they build them modern architecture cannot decide how the ancient egyptians built the pyramids they can't know how it happened with all the technology all the knowledge ancient egyptians built pyramids and they don't know how the pyramid the pyramids are still there up to today but the people cannot tell how it was done now the ancient egyptians knew something the ordinary man today doesn't know besides regardless of the civilization we have the technology we have ancient egyptians knew how to bury people put them in caves right now up to today they find caves and people still look like fresh in ancient egypt how many of you have seen those things? Ancient Egypt, the people, the people that were buried, the question is, what is it that they knew? That we today did not know. Now, in ancient Egypt, I'm coming to something. They used to wa worship the river God. Ancient Egypt understood how 
power originate from waters so ancient Egypt used to worship the Nile River so when Moses entered into Egypt first and Moses wanted to demonstrate to Pharaoh that God sent him the first miracle Moses did was to attack the Nile River and turn it from water into blood Halimi Katoa so Moses demonstrated to Pharaoh Pharaoh I am come in the hand of the Lord the hand of the Lord is upon me why because I have been able to turn your God where you get your source of power from I have attacked it and rendered it filter I have managed to turn your source of power into blood are you getting me are you getting me Moses first attacked the Nile River he crippled the powers of the Egypt so when Moses and Aaron was trying to do miracles the magicians practiced him did the miracles until it got to a place where they said sir this one we can't do because this is the finger of God can I tell you something At this meeting God will give you a testimony your enemies cannot mimic every miracle you receive they try to copy you did this they copied you did that they copied but there is something god is about to do hi yeah 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 but they shall be said this is the finger of god halimi kapa exodus 8 19. exodus 8 19 the magicians of pharaoh said to pharaoh sir this is the finger of God can I pray for you may God do a miracle for you that everyone will say this is the finger of God why because it cannot be copied it cannot be duplicated people will not understand and fathom how you got it I lift a prayer over your life May a miracle more than you can fathom. May it come your way. May a miracle more than you can believe. May it come your way. May a miracle more than you can think of. May it come your way. If you are here, shout, I receive it. Shout, I receive it. You see, it was not the, it was the magicians of Pharaoh that said, This one, it is beyond. Oh my God. Father, give us a testimony like that that everyone will say this one yes. it is the finger of God your enemies will even agree ah uh, no 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 this one can I tell you something your enemies can fight you but there is something they cannot fight the God you have and the results that will come out of your God the enemies cannot fight your results today we lift a prayer and I decree and declare may God give you tangible results tangible results mind breaking results in the name of Jesus shout I receive it shout I receive it sit down sit down for a minute as I close so Moses first attacked the Nile River and demonstrated to the Egyptians now so uh, Exodus 7 20 shall we read one go so he lifted up the rod and struck the waters that were in the river and in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants and all the waters that way in the river turn into what? Your enemies are going to be incapacitated. Their powers are going to be rendered futile. If you are here, shout, I receive it. Now listen to me. Now go with me to Ezekiel chapter 26. Ezekiel 26. Ezekiel 26. 20. Ezekiel 26, 28. Give me first Ezekiel 26, 16, and then we can we can tackle the other one, and then we can pray. Ezekiel 26, 16. Shall we read one go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now hold on. All the princes of where? All the princes of where? The word prince signifies principality. All the powers that are in the sea will come down from their authority. And they will now aside their own. God was talking about powers that are dwelling where? In the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, there are powers in the waters. There are powers in the oceans. Now, I want to just take another scripture. Give me 
Ezekiel 29, 1, 3. And then I, I can now go straight because for the sake of time, I, I'll just go straight. Um, uh, Ezekiel 29, speak. Uh huh. One go. Uh huh. That says who? Now, God was speaking here. Behold, I am against you who? No, no, no. Shall we read one go? Oh, king of uh huh, comma, oh, great monster who lies in the midst of his. Now, God is not speaking against Egypt only, Pharaoh only. God is also speaking against the monster, the principality, the power that lies in the Nile River. Because where if God was to attack Pharaoh alone and he leaves the God he worships. It has not done anything. God addresses Pharaoh and addresses the power that they worship, the monster. There is a great power that lies in his rivers. Oh, great monster who lies in the midst of his rivers. There is a monster. That tells you God was addressing power that lies in the river bodies. Today, yes. any witch doctor where your picture was taken. Yes any sorcerer where your picture was taken today I decree and declare by the mandate of the Holy Ghost let that altar cast fire 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 let that altar cast fire, fire in the name of Jesus now I want to talk to you what are sit down what are the things that show that someone is under the influence of marine powers? What shows that you are under the influence of a water spirit? Why? Because all, now number one, understand all these demons you are fighting against, they came from where? Water. That is the first preamble you need to establish. Because when they were cast down here, there was no earth. Alright? What are the characteristics? Now, number one, the reason why I said to you, today we are dealing with families and emotional situations your son your daughter you need to battle for that child your son is on drugs you need to battle for that child are you getting me some of your children are 18 years one boy he has impregnated three ladies in the city by the time he's 25 and 30 what is going to happen an 18 year old boy dangerous firing weapons of mass destruction <laughs> hear me hear me well hear me number one all broken homes unsuccessful marriages and relationships are caused by marine powers write it down what are the causes what are the characteristics of marine power what makes you know that marine all broken homes caused by marine powers unsuccessful marriages unsuccessful relationships and as I was telling you I know a lady 28 she has had 30 relationships that means that if we, we if we were to put one to one one per year she has extra two she's 28 years she has had 30 relationships 30 don't laugh yours is more than that some of you are 46 52 75. God have mercy. All broken homes. Unsuccessful marriages. Because you see, that one of the greatest places that the devil attacks is your marriage. Your stability. Are you getting me? Yes. Number two. Marine forces causes difficulty in getting married. When you are under the influence of marine spirits every man sees you and they pass away they see you as another man nobody even gets your number some of you nobody has collected your number for the past two years ha! this all night is for you this Kesha pray like a madman nobody has asked of your number sometimes you even try to throw your number around nobody even cares this this city things are hard though it's hard, my friend. Number three. Marine forces causes sexual perversions. Prostitution, 
fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, pornography, all those sexual perversions. When a man or a woman is under marine spirit, they cannot control their, their sexual drive. There are certain people here, they can't control their sexual drive. Any woman that passes, they finish them. Like that, that video you, see, you were seeing, the man that was praying against, that, those of you didn't come early, you didn't see it. Any woman that passes, they finish them. Finish them. They finish all the women in the high state. They've gone to the next estate. And when a woman is also under marine spirit, they cannot control their drive. Any man that comes, they give it to them freely. Freely did they receive. Freely did they give. They have given to Matthew, John, Peter, Andrew, Bartholomew, all the 12 disciples of Jesus, giving them. Even Judas, they even gave Judas. Even the worst guy in the estate, they've given him. Judas. When you ask them, they say, I will not give. When they say they will, I will not give you, they even feel guilty for denying you. They will say, please come, just come, just come. Shindwe, Satan. You need deliverance. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, pretending will not take you anywhere. You yourself, you know. The thing is that, like, you know you can't control yourself. You need help. Tell your neighbor you need help. Say the man of God is talking to you. Yes. It's not anybody. It's you we are talking about. Uh, someone say, Papa, you are preaching about me. So who do I preach? You are the church member. I should preach about you. I should preach that you know you are being preached about. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When you are under smarting powers, masturbation all those sexual perversion is there add it sexual perversion number number what marine spirit causes immoral lifestyle and addiction strange addictions addictions that you yourself you cannot control it addictions to drugs to substances there are people they inject themselves with hard stuff they start sniffing things it doesn't work smoking things it doesn't work now they go into injection strong children young boys injecting themselves with things we lift the prayer in the name of jesus any form of addiction to substances to alcohol, to drugs, to weed. We decree and declare, let them be broken in the name of Jesus. You see, when you are addicted to something, that means the thing has power over you. The Bible says we are permitted to do anything, but we should not allow anything to come to have power over us. That means that you yourself, you cannot control yourself. The thing now controls you. Are you getting me? Yes. Every form of addiction. Some people, they drink like fish. <laughs> May God deliver you. Hey, the amen is small right now. What happened? That means all of you here, most of you here drink. Say amen better. I said, may God deliver you. Amen. Hi, my church. God have mercy. Some of you are not still saying amen. I said, may God deliver you. Amen. Brad, say amen. Good. I'm not saying him, but I just wanted him to motivate me because the rest of you, you are not saying amen. Next one. Next one. Marine forces cause extreme delays. Delays. Extreme delays. Not normal delays, but demonic delays. Everything in your life is delayed. Number five, number six. Marine forces causes sexual abuse in dreams those of you that dream that somebody is sleeping with you you dream that somebody is sleeping with you when you dream and you have when you sleep and you have said dreams wake up say papa no it was nice hey. <laughs> papa I wanted to wake up but I could not why it, it was <laughs> are you okay some of the stories we hear hey <laughs> It's, 
uh, but I couldn't wake up. See, if a lion is chasing your dream, what do you do? You wake up. You wake up fast. But why is it that that one you cannot wake up? That means you are a corporate. It is you are agreeing to the act. It is a mutual agreement between you and the demon. May God deliver you. I said, may God deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Number seven, you have dreams of backwardness and retrogression. You are always dreaming of your background. You are always dreaming in your village. I, have, I don't have dreams seeing myself even at the airport of Ghana. I don't have such dreams. Let alone in the village. I, I have never dreamed seeing myself in a village. Why? No. We have gone far. We, we should be seeing ourselves in Las Vegas. In... in in Heathrow Airport. Where's the lady from Muranga? Yes, Heathrow Airport. Camelin, where are you? She's, she's in the corner. Yeah, she said she was walking in Heathrow Airport. Give me. She says Seattle. She went to Seattle. She went to Boston. She went to Atlanta. Those are the dreams you should have. From Muranga to Seattle. To Atlanta to Boston. May that be your testimony. God can change people's lives. So. Yeah. He said, oh my God. <laughs> One, two weeks in Seattle. Oh my God. <laughs> if it was three months, hey. Halimi <laughs> Gadosh. <laughs> Number eight. Marine forces causes A. I didn't even realize that I spiritual weakness spiritual you become spiritually weak you cannot pray you cannot focus you become spiritually weak and prayerless marine forces causes spiritual weakness spiritual weakness number nine marine causes delays in conception Delays in conception and barrenness. Delays in conception and barrenness. As number 10 causes extreme poverty and debts. You some people they are in debt everywhere. You owe everybody. Everybody you are in debt with everybody. You owe all your relatives. So when you call them, they don't pick. Because they know you are coming to borrow again. Shout, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every power from the marine world. Power. Having influence over my life. Power. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Now, how do people get themselves involved? How do you come under the influence? These are the characteristics. Now, how do you come under the influence of marine powers? Now, let me give you the four points and then we go. We can go to now how to deal with it. How do you come under the influence of marine powers? Through ancestral or parental pollution. And I was saying it yesterday online. Some of you, when you were young, some people took you to witch doctors, to sorcerers, to diviners. You, you see, you didn't have control. You, you were just following. Some, it is not your fault. And sometimes the saddest thing is this. You go and they tell you, your father or your mother will tell those witch doctors, I'm bringing my children under this altar. So as you grow, your name was presented under a certain evil altar. So you cannot find husband. Why? Because you have been put under the altar. If you are a man, your life becomes frustrated, pure poverty and death. Why? Because you are under a certain altar. Because you were led there. I, I, I gave a scripture in the course of the week and the Bible says the fathers have eaten the sour grapes and their children's uh, teeth has been set on edge. I think that was in the book of Ezekiel. So, sometimes you don't even know what happened. You were just taken there. 
Is there anyone here that was taken when you were young? It was not you. You were taken. Raise your hand. If you were taken somewhere, if you were taken somewhere, raise your hand. You, it was not a godly place. Today, I lift a prayer. Wherever you were taken, I decree and declare, let the hold be broken. Any evil altar that has your name, somebody shall break. 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 In the name of Jesus. Number two. Through environmental connection, you get connected because of the atmosphere and the environment where you dwell. When you live around water bodies and coastal belts, that's why there's a lot of prostitution around the coast. Do you know why? It's because marine forces causes those things. So around there, people under that place are under poverty. I mean, under prostitution, so much perversion. Why? And addictions are there. Why? Because of the atmosphere where they live. Are you getting the point? Yes, no, is that not uh, pre prevalent at the coast? Yes. Yeah. Anywhere there's a river or water body, too much prostitution. And those things happen. Perversions. In the name of Jesus. Any atmosphere yes. where there are marine forces yes. controlling people in your family, yes. we decree and declare, let it catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Number three, through direct initiation. Sometimes some people are directly initiated. Direct initiation. Direct initiation. Number four, going to witch doctors, herbalists, sorcerers. Witch doctors, herbalists. You get yourself confused. You know, there are people, they, they want power. They want to go anywhere. Can I tell you, I was saying this in the course of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, I said this, I said yesterday or the day before. Two days ago, yesterday, I tell you this, let me tell you. Please, take this for me. Don't let desperation push you to a witch doctor. Because sometimes you can be so desperate looking for solution and somebody will tell you, I know some witch doctor. And if you go, this one, it is sharp, sharp. And you will get more problems after there. That before than before you even went there. See, the devil will give you one thing, give you and give you ten problems. Are you getting me? Yes. There's, yes, I know sometimes life gets desperate and you really want help. But don't let desperation put you to a sorcerer, to a diviner, to a to a voodoo man. And you see, these days they have become clever. They say, oh, this one he prays. This one, they use Bible. So they will read some Bible verses, but now they will do some funny sacrifices and they will do because they know that these things, people are enlightened. So if they say there is a, they, if they call themselves witch doctors, people will not follow them. So they camouflage themselves into something else that will appeal to you, the Christian, because the people they want to get is the believers. Uh, is this girl here? Abigail. The one that called me says they have taken their phone. Oh, she's not here. Now, this week, somebody calls me. I said, girl, call me crying. Papa, Papa, you need to do something. I said, what? Says, she met a guy at the Matatu. She was going to, I think she was going somewhere. And the guy says, the guy met and started speaking into her life. I see this, I see this, I see this. Says, some of the things they told me was true. I said, yes, it will always be true. Yeah. Because in Acts chapter 16, the damsel that was operating with the spirit of divination said things about Paul and Silas that were true. The fact that somebody says something about you that is true doesn't mean they are from God. You need to be wiser than that. Amen? Anybody can say anything about you that is true. Are you getting me? So they say something about this girl that is true. They said, now you need to pray. Now she was to go to a certain bridge. They said, give me your phone. They give, she give the phone to them. Unlock the phone. Unlock the phone. Go to the bridge and go and shout the name of the person fighting go and shout by the time you come back when you say when you go and shout you hear the name of the person fighting you so the lady went to shout by the time they came back they have run away with the phone let me tell you it is the you see you think she's mumu yes there's a bit a little bit of mumu in there but that one it was desperation you have no by the time they say something about you that is true you start to you when they tell you you may do it amen they will read some 23 now you begin to get confused you think that you have met a man of god but these are some of them and this is what happens 
once they know you are able to assess or tell them you are from a good altar what they will then tell you now that altar is not good are you getting me because they have to diffuse what you know and tell you where you go to church is not good in order to win so that now your focus is out of your church now you they are, they are now your man of god in order to deceive by the time you realize they would have taken your money taking your things and then you become completely finished by the time that you realize and you come to your sense you begin to wonder what happened but it will be too late are you getting me because once somebody is able to disconnect you from your source from your covering they have gotten you because they cannot have they know you don't they, they you are not under any covering number one they can now control you anybody that tries to disconnect you from your covering is a sign of control they want to have control over you that's what it is you need wisdom to know that here we preach christ and here we do warfare and here we advance our lives are you getting me yeah so you need the wisdom and the sensitivity to discern that there are people that would want to disconnect you from the source of your power so that they can be able to attack you and have access to you uncontrollably so now last one how do people come under um 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 um, um, um marine spirits through sexual connections with sorcerers witch doctors and herbalists some of you you have done that demonic sexual sexual soul ties the guy says you want to go and bath you in the river so that all your problems will go away mumu 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 as old as you are somebody can bath you are you okay No, it's, 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 there are some things you should understand. You are a child of God. I mean, is it bathing that will make you get your problem, your miracle? No. Get it straight. This is deception. Tell your neighbor deception. deception. Yeah. You need to understand there are certain things that will not work. Even if you are, you need a miracle as what? Well, tell them no. This one I can't do. Hello? Yes see when you get connected with the wrong person sexually it has negative repercussions on you we read from the message bible the bible says that sex is not a physical act sex is a spiritual mystery oh you don't know the bible says it in the message bible sex is a spiritual mystery you go sleep with the wrong person some of you don't control yourself you go everybody you freely give to them you fire left right center my friend you are, are bringing upon yourself demonic things you have no idea of anybody are you getting me read first john first corinthians 16 read it for yourself it is in your bible just the only problem is that you don't read your bible it is in your bible read it for yourself read one go hello hello no 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 shake the person sitting by you say this one read this one read 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 the man of god is talking to you read uh -huh. read one go than mere skin to skin sex is as much a spiritual mystery as a physical sex is a spiritual mystery can you imagine that this is from the message version of the bible sex is a spiritual mystery it is not a matter of skin to skin it is a spiritual mystery yes it's a spiritual mystery you become one so if you are doing it with a witch doctor you become a witch doctor a sorcerer you are becoming a sorcerer a diviner you are becoming a diviner a corn man some of you only attract corn men and they have been calling you and you begin to that means there's something wrong with you you're only attracting corn men corn men there are some things you need to deal with tell you never deal with it yes it's a spiritual mystery and the next series i'm going to teach on uh, on wealth creation tell you about wealth creation i'm going to open your eyes to understand how wealth is created and how you need to understand certain things about life and the realities of life are you getting me i'm telling you it will, it will change your life for good yeah and remember from the month of august we are going to three services tell me about three services 
So the morning service is going to split into two because we, we are having too much access in the morning services. So we're going to split the morning service and we're going to cut the short, the time short for the morning service. We're going to do 8 to 10, 10 30 to 12 30, and then we have the prophetic service. Are we together? So that people can be free to sit without having um, 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 any complications. Are you, are you together? So get your heart ready. So we are going to cut service into, reduce each service by 30 minutes, except this last service, and then be able to push um, one more service in the morning. Amen? Hello? Yes. So this is how people come under the influence of what? Marine spirits. Now, how do you come out? Now tell us, the man of God, tell us how to come out and stop telling us how to scare. You are scaring us. Tell us how do we come out? How do you come out? Number one, how to come out of the influence of marine powers? How to come out? Number one, the, the, when you read the book of Mark, chapter 9, verses 29, the Bible talks about how Jesus said, This kind goeth not except by fasting and prayers. There are certain things you can only deal with through fasting and prayer. Tell you about fasting and prayer. You need to get into aggressive prayer and fasting. Aggressive prayer and fasting and deal with it. Aggressive prayers and fasting. Aggressive prayers and fasting. Number two. Disconnect yourself from any agent of the marine world. That is any sorcerer, diviner, enchanter, all those things. Disconnect yourself. Some of you you are going through what you are going through because you brought it upon yourself because of the connections you have with wrong people unfortunately there are certain families they are going through some of you you are going through some of you are going through because your mother took you there some of you ever since you were a child all you were seen in your homes were witch doctors do i have a witness which doctors kept, kept coming to your home doing things and you begin to wonder now you are under oppression and suppression and you don't know what is happening and you see the reason why you cannot compare yourself to somebody in the house of god or even your friends is that some of you your friends parents were pastors they used to pray they used to go to church your grandmother was praying for you, your father and your father prayed for you but the other you on the other case you your father was only bringing witch doctors and your mother taking you to witch doctors taking you to cumberland to drink blood there's a lady that told me that sir man of god let me tell you me i can get any man i want i said tell me more she says i go to a place in cumberland and i drink blood so whoever i speak to is convinced to sleep with me and get i get whatever i want from the person i am telling you, god is my witness she told me life and color says she goes to cumberland to drink blood and whatever she says she gets say in the name of jesus, name of jesus. anybody using witchcraft to manipulate my destiny i decree and declare catch fire and you begin to wonder sometimes you do some things for certain people you begin to wonder why did you even do it you don't even understand why because they are manipulating you with powers and sources some people you have come under their influence whatever they tell you you do why blindly you you follow you have become a mumu to them why because they have spiritually controlled your soul and brought you under subjection so for you to disconnect some things you don't pray them out you cut them off you hear what i said there are some things you don't pray them out you cut them off it's, a, it's not everything that is about prayer there are certain decisions you take that can save you 10 years of prayer just one decision can save you 10 years of prayer and fasting but sometimes we are reluctant to take the right decisions that will take us to our next level may god give you grace to take that decision there are certain people you just disconnect them from your life because they all they are talking about is sorcery going to here going there and they are not talking about going to church they are not talking about you praying for yourself they are not talking about things that will add, advance you spiritually they are only talking about things that will bring you down and demonic connections cut them number three coming out engage prayer engage prayer with water if you want to deal with the water use water 
and make prophetic actions over the land. Make prophetic actions over the land with water and declare that you are permanently disconnected from every marine power. That's why on Thursday, I made everybody get water. Isn't it? Yeah, I told everybody that came online to get water. Those of you that don't watch me online, I don't know what your problem is. There are more things we teach online than in church. Okay? Every evening, I am online praying with people. Every evening. Okay, from, sorry, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Every evening. And every morning, 7 to 8, we are live praying. I get here 6.30 every day. We are praying here 6. By 7, we are praying. So, you, you, if you join online prayer in the morning, join prayer in the evening, there is no way you shall remain the same. Amen? Yes. Last point. Number, number four. I've talked about breaking soul ties. I said disconnect from, uh, yeah, break every soul tie you have ever had with any wrong person. Because all those things, and disconnect yourself from every sexual perversion. Pray to disconnect yourself from every sexual perversion. Every sexual perversion. Number five, release a sacrifice on the altar to speak against every power and every marine power. Some of you, you must release a sacrifice to counter that altar that speaks against your children. That marine force. You see, sometimes you, you are, okay, you go to church, but that man does not go to church. The man goes to which doctor? So the man will go and say, I'm bringing all my children under this altar. You, you are praying to bring them out. Another man is praying to bring them in. Are you getting a point? Yeah. That's why I always tell you, there are certain prayers that there are certain people you don't have to compare yourself with. Because their mothers are praying for them. You, your mother is even against you. No, no, no. There are some people, their mothers are praying for them. You, your mother is against you. It cannot be the same. Hello? Yeah. There are some, that's what, there are some dreams I cannot have. Because my father prayed for me before even he, he died. My grandfather was a preacher. My father was a preacher. So there are some steps I am ahead before even I began life. Spiritually, there are some things I may not pray for. Are you getting my point? Yes. Sir. Yes. Why? Because there are certain things that have been dealt before you come. And this is what the only thing you can do for your children is not to leave them an inheritance. Because they, they are rich men that leave inheritances for their children. The inheritances disappear in one year. The greatest thing you can leave for your child is to teach them the ways of God. Because when you are not there, they can stand on their feet. They can travel for themselves. The greatest thing you can do for your child is to break certain altars that would have fought them when they grow up. You tell yourself, my daughter, I am prayed for you. You have delivered that child from every bondage and every sorcery and every demonic enchanter. The cycle that fought me, I have fought for you. So you shall not fight it. That is how you deal and break anything. You see, anything that runs through the blood can be dealt by the blood. You didn't hear what I said? Anything that runs through your the blood, your bloodline can be dealt with by the blood of Jesus. And today we activate the blood of the Lamb to disconnect any cycle in your bloodline any cycle in your father's house any cycle in your mother's house today we decree and declare let it be broken in the name of Jesus are you ready to pray be upstanding I've managed to cover as much as I wanted to cover now we need to pray we are going to engage in warfare if you slept you are on your own You are dealing with powers like this and you are still sleeping. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The way some people are doing their eyes, it's like, like they have even had a dream. <laughs> they have slept properly. Are you ready to pray? Shout in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 
any marine power, any influence from the water world that attacks my family, I decree and declare, catch fire. Now, every demon ever anywhere that started operating on this land first was in water. So you have got the right to engage and to deal with those forces. Are you getting me? Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every, demonic power every demonic power contending against my life. I decree and declare. Catch fire. Every marine power fighting my destiny. As I clap and pray, I destroy it. Come on, lift up your voice. Sorry, I'm sorry. 
shout in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, oh, every marine spirit, frustrating marriages in my family. I decree and declare, cast fire. See, I want you to pray a prayer that your children will not suffer the way you have suffered in marriage. Because if you don't deal with it, they will go, they will, it will affect them. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every marriage spirit. Every marriage. Frustrating marriages in my family. In my family. Catch, fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. As I lift up my voice in prayer. Every cycle of bad marriage. Every anti-marriage spirit. That frustrates people in my family. I decree and declare. Break. 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 Come on, lift up your voice. Shalabada branta la la branta. Alabakada bada brasha la la branta. Rada la la basha la 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 branta. Oh, my God. 
Disappointment in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to come to the place of warfare that you are dragging yourself out of any cycle your life has ever gone through. That you are telling yourself by through prayer today marks the end of that evil cycle. Every cycle of anti marriage spirit, every cycle that every time you enter into any good thing about to enter into good marriage, it is separated, it is aborted. You are declaring, you are pulling yourself and your children out of that cycle. Are you hearing me? Separation shall not be your portion. Every form of disappointment shall not be your portion. Heartbreak shall not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Now you are dragging your family out of every evil cycle that your bloodline is going through. Shout in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 
we pull ourselves out of every evil cycle in my bloodline today we declare we come out 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 come on lift up your voice shala bada baya rabba baba katoda dada bra shala la baya rabba baba katoda dada bra shala and declare any bondage any captivity my family is in tonight we come out 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 in the name of 
now the Bible says in the book of Jude 1 that some you have to pull out of the fire say I drag my children out of the fire I drag my children out of bondage now maybe you don't have a child but pray for your child that is yet to be born pray for yourself that you are coming out of every addiction every bondage now when you read lamentations chapter 2 verses 19 the bible says, wake up at the early hours of the morning and cry for the sake of your children for the sake of your children you can be as worthy as what but if you your children bring you frustration you never have peace and those of the things those are the things marine powers cause causes frustration and emotional instability they will attack your children attack your mother attack your father attack someone attack your partner so that you don't have peace say sh shall we read read on the screen right cry arise uh -huh. cry out in the night at the beginning of the watches at the beginning of the watches it's, it's now tell your neighbor say now this is the time to pray for your children this is the hour where when you make a prayer for children things happen arise cry out in the night at the beginning of the watches pour out your heart like water before the face of the lord lift up your hands towards him for the life of your what? your young children for the sake of your young children you need to lift up your voice are you ready to pray some of you maybe you yourself you are young pray for yourself pray for your brother that is that young brother of yours that young sister some of you your siblings are under attack you are declaring any form of addiction any form of satanic sexual perversion upon your life upon your children you are delivering right now in the name of jesus are you here shout in the name of jesus any form of addiction in the lives of my children today i declare they are delivered my children are coming out of bondage they are coming out of addictions i decree and declare every addiction i am in today by the power of the holy ghost i decree and declare is broken 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 come on lift up your voice shalalabaya rapa palabas palabatosha shalalalabo shalalabranta talabatosha apalabada bada braska bada branta radadada baska bada bras shalalabranta apalaba koria katalalabaso asona mataria tata rapa Come on. 
sexual perversion every form of addition that is in this nation we decree and declare pray now we are praying for this nation that any form of sexual perversion see it is so you see i don't know how you see it but this thing of homosexuality let's it is so prevalent in young people in this nation but we are declaring may god bring deliverance what will bring deliverance is the hand of god say the hand of god, the hand of god. i know there are the people there are people they want to come out but it is a bondage they cannot come out but tonight deliverance is coming i said deliverance is coming i said deliverance is coming shout in the name of jesus every form of sexual perversion in this nation in our children in our families we decree and declare catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire Come on, lift up your voice. Kapalaba, Rapalaba, Shanana Namatos, Shalalebes, Kabrantaba, Rapalaba, Shanana Namasaka, Telia Bakonia, Kapalaba, Shoka, Telelebos, Kabrantaba, Rapalaba, Kapodia, Shalalebes, Kabrantaba, Rapaya Katoa, Kapaya Katoa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any evil order. Any evil order. Where I was initiated. Where I was initiated. Without my notice. Without my notice. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Today. Today. I come out. I come out. Any evil order. Any evil order. Where my family was initiated. Without my knowledge. I decree and declare. Cast fire. There are some things that were done even before you were born. And generations of that generations, people have been suffering. You are declaring today in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let there be separation. Let it be broken. 
See, there are some things that in the olden days, people didn't get away with it. But these days, because of social media and technology, you cannot get away with certain things. See, when you see maybe your siblings, sometimes you look at them and you realize that there is one of them that realized that, or two, you realize that this one, the way they behave, it's like they are not part of you. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm not criticizing anybody's family, but what I'm just saying is that sometimes you look at one child in the family and you realize that this one, where did our mother get this one from? Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. You wouldn't lift up your voice. Any form of evil order where the family was put under, today you declare you are coming out. We have three more prayer points and we are out of here. So, Take this prayer seriously. Say any evil order. Any evil order. Uh, manipulating my destiny. Manipulating my destiny. Any evil order. Any evil Where my family was kept. My family was kept. Today, I Today I declare. We come out. 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 Say any satanic initiation I got myself into by association with the wrong people by sexual connection today I declare I come out 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 in the name of Jesus Lift your hands up. I see 24 chains breaking right now. Any chains upon people. Any altar where you were kept and you were chained. Today I declare. Break. 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 In the name of Jesus. If you can stand up, if you are not over 60 years and you can be on your feet, be on your feet. If you're over 60, you can sit down. Or you are pregnant, you can sit down. Or you are unwell in any part of your body and you need to sit, sit. Other than that, everybody get up. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any chains of limitation. Any chains of limitation. In my life. Pray. 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 Shout in the name of Jesus. Any anti-marriage chains that has crippled my family, I decree and declare. Pray, 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 pray. Say any chains fight that fights marriages, that fights relationships that is in my family, on my children. I decree and declare. Break! 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 Shout in the name of Jesus. Anywhere my name is presented that is not of God, any evil order, any marine power, any false prophet, any diviner, any enchanter that has my picture right now as I pray, I declare, break, 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 break. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the trap set for me, for my family, for my loved ones, I decree and declare, break, 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 break. Now, I am going to call out some things you declare break. And afterwards, we enter into prayer, and then we take the two last prayers, and then we can go home. When I call the Bible says, by the reason of the anointing, the you shall be what? When I call them out, you shall break. Are you hearing me? Are you ready? Yes. And I want you to put your heart and your mind in the prayer. It is not a ritual, it is a prophetic action. In the name of Jesus, in the spirit of poverty, in the marine spirit in my family, in the marine spirit in my home, in my life, break. Break, 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 
in the name of Jesus, every addition in my family, pray, 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 in the name of Jesus, every addition in my children's lives, pray, 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 in the name of Jesus, every form of demonic perversions, sexual perversions, sponsored by Marie World, break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare any bondage, any delay, any form of barrenness, I decree and declare break, break, break. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus, in this satanic agenda, demonic stronghold released against my household, I decree and declare break, 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 break. So, in the name of Jesus, every delay testimony, every spirit of delay, stagnation. Sponsored by the marine world, I decree and declare, break, 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 in the name of Jesus, every hold of lack, poverty, financial struggle, break, 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 every spirit of this favor, disappointment, break, 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 break. Now today the Lord said to me, I should pray for people over missed opportunities. When that lady called me and told me that her best friend has taken her man, and guess what? They are paying down. You see, the guy, the lady didn't know that she heard from somewhere ah do you know that your best friend is being paid for dowry to, that is today saturday tomorrow just say the best friend is being paid dowry for by the by the man he was dating she was dating the best friend did not even tell her she was told by someone so who is the man they send a picture and it is her man be paid not introduction dowry say every missed opportunity catch fire Say in the name of Jesus, every spirit that makes me miss opportunities, I declare, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire. Some of you, when it is time for your promotion, somebody is selected. You are performing better than the other person when you are almost when you are supposed to be the one to be promoted. Someone else is selected. Shout in the name of Jesus. Every missed opportunity, every spirit that causes me to miss opportunities when I am close to my blessing, I decree and declare: catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Shout in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare every spirit of death and losses. I decree and declare. Cast fire. 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 Come on, lift up your voice. Break the chains. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rada da 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 da
Shout in the name of Jesus. I enter my blessing. I possess my possessions. I decree and declare a new cycle, a new altar is being raised in my family. Is being raised in my family. In the name of Jesus. Now you are going to claim something new for your children, for your life, for your family. Are you ready? Somebody say, I possess my possessions. I possess my possessions. I possess my possessions. Is there anybody here that bears the name Masharia? Masharia. Raise your hand above your head. Here. Raise your hand above your head. Say, in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Every satanic altar from my village that sabotages my blessing catch fire now you are going to walk into your blessing say I walk into my blessing I possess my possessions I possess my possessions nobody shall stand in my spotlight in the name of Jesus say no one shall stand in my spotlight no one shall stand in my spotlight what belongs to you shall come to you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. hear me you need to declare that what belongs to you shall come to you are you hearing me what belongs to you shall not be taken by another your role shall not be taken by another your position shall not be taken by another in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God see sometimes there is something called favor somebody shall favor that comes upon you that you receive favor from places you don't even understand somebody shall favor see if you're a business owner and you have employees you realize that there are certain employees you just favor and you don't understand why you favor them in the same way may favor cause you to be lifted and promoted even beyond your expectation you are claiming this is the last but one prayer you are praying you are entering into favor favor that will grant you acceptance favor and acceptance wherever you go favor and acceptance somebody shout acceptance shout favor see favor can make you get a man but acceptance will keep the man see sometimes you get a man you talk after three weeks the man goes to you you don't know where that the man was from where sometimes they disappear into the thing here. shout in the name of Jesus I receive favor and acceptance as I lift up my voice in prayer I receive favor and acceptance 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 come on lift up your voice
shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. Financial favor. Financial favor. Financial favor. Financial favor. Financial favor. Financial favor. Anointed for wealth. Anointed for wealth. I claim it. I claim it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. How many of you here want to prosper? How many of you here want to remain poor? You want to break the cycle of poverty. You want to enter into wealth. Somebody say, I enter into wealth. I enter into wealth. I enter into wealth. See, I'm so determined to make sure that you prosper even more than the way you are determined for yourself. Because I want you to prosper. I want you to come to church in style. Are you getting me? That you are doing well. Your success is my joy. Are you getting me? When, when I hear testimonies, that is what makes me happy. That may God give you mega and mind-blowing testimonies. That you give a testimony that you had a million dollars. That you hit two million dollars contract. May that be your portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May God give you that kind of a testimony. May God grant you that kind of level. In the name of Jesus. See you, you get five million, you are jumping everywhere. Twenty million, he will not do fifty hundred, he will not do. May God grant you that kind of favor. Shout, I receive it. And it is possible. You we are going to get to that level. Oh, yes, shout, I receive that level of favor. Are you ready to enter into wealth? See, when you pray for wealth, the elements align for you to be wealthy. Are you getting me? You pray and you are serious about getting wealthy. You pray for wealth. One friend of mine told me that he said, he told me um, the other day, he says, Prof, if you did not become wealthy or rich, I would not have understood. Because whilst we were studying engineering, in class, engineering class, I'll be reading money, money books about how to make money. We, they are studying engineering, whatever. We are reading how to make money. The wealth of Solomon, the richest man in Babylon. All those funny, funny, funny books. I read them 20 years ago when I was on campus. Once they were teaching us engineering. Why? Because I realized that the engineering is just a stepping stone. It cannot make anybody wealthy. But you need an anointing, knowledge that will cause you to enter into a certain dimension. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive the anointing for wealth. I receive the anointing for wealth. Shout, I receive the anointing for wealth. I receive the anointing for wealth. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I call money. I call money. From the north. From the north. South. south east, east. And west. And west. In, the in the name of Jesus. I call wealth. I call wealth. I call wealth. I call wealth. Come on, lift up your voice. 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 Sana Makosha. Rababa Makosha. Asona Makosha. Elebrato Saba. Rababa Nabraska Namatosha. Elebri Antoni Mikabraka. Rababa Nabraka Nabraska Nabraka. Alla Makosha Nabraka. Father, we need to be clear. We tap into all common wealth. We tap into all common wealth. like this say by the mandate of the Holy Ghost, the of the Holy Ghost as, the says, as the Bible says the right hand, the right hand is, a power. is a place of power I connect my hand, connect my hand to, power, to power to create wealth, to create wealth. In, the in the name of Jesus I decree and declare, I decree and declare whatever, I whatever I touch it prospers it prospers it prospers it prospers it prospers it prospers it prospers, it prospers in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost.